Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with another large format camera that I want to show you details and movements and so on. This is one that a lot of people have been requesting, which is a Linhof uh, Master Technica. This is a Linhof 2000 from what we've Googled because basically we didn't really know. And it's basically in brand new condition. So let me screw it into my super wooden tripod. And we're going to go ahead and uh, learn a little bit as we go. This is not my camera, so I hope you guys understand that maybe some things are not natural to me. And uh, Linhoff does have all these brochures and PDFs on their website, so I'll leave it below, but you can always Google it yourself if you want to. So basically, 4x5 camera made by Linhoff in Germany. Huge history. These are like the Leica cameras of large format, and also sometimes the users are like that too. So take it with a pinch of salt. Um, basically to open, as you can see, there's a top button here in the middle. You press it down and it goes down. You heard that very distinct click. And that means it's 90 degrees. Now this camera is set up at 90 degrees. If we wanna let the bed go down, you press these buttons on the side and the bed will go down. But my tripod, I don't know, it will let us go down all the way. That would be around 15 degrees and then it has a second step for 30 degrees. But let's put it back up. So that would be 90 degrees. Then to take the lens out, and in this case, you can see the lens is a 50 millimeter. Um, I think it's rod and stock Cedronar N, which is the silver ring. And this one fits inside the camera, which is amazing. You have to press these little two tabs on the side and pull it out, kind of like some other cameras in the large format field. So basically you should have infinity stops. This one does not have it. So you can basically stop it wherever you want. Sorry for that, that's not the one I wanted to move. So you can extend it all the way. You can extend it a little bit less. Let's keep it there for the sake of demonstration. Then on the front standard of focus, it's very simple. We just use these knobs on the front. So focus, you know, closer or further to infinity and you can feel it locking and you can focus really smoothly. This camera, as I'm saying, is basically brand new. So that's the lock for focus. Let me take it off. And then if you want to extend to the triple extension or double extension, which is what I would consider, you have to lower these little tabs on the side. It has these notches, which are a little hard to see. So let me see if I can push it down a little bit. You can see it on the B cam, but these little tabs will let you push the front standard a little further. So I don't know what the official way to do it, but it feels like you basically want to lock the front and then this you can extend. So as you can see now, the bed is moving you heard a click and then you can even go a little further you heard that click again and then i can still unlock the focusing and keep on using that ex super big extension as you can see we're going into very very long lens so that's pretty nice i don't know exactly the length of the lenses probably on the brochure you can find it but it seems to do probably a little bit more than 300 millimeters so to put it back basically focus all the way back, then push this tab down and you wanna push it in, that's the first click. And then we hear the second click and that's fully retracted. So once we get to that, let's go to the front standard. So the front standard to uh, raise or lower or rise or fall the lens, you have this little ratchet on the side and you have to put it on a different color. So right now green means down, white means up. And now you can slowly go up. This feels amazing, but also a little slow, but you're never in a rush with large formats. So that actually is actually fine. And now if I wanna lower it, you just have to turn it to green. And now green, it will go down as you can see. Also, if you wanna get very like, you wanna rise and you're very close to the inside of the camera. So on the top here, you have these two little buttons that you push inwards and there's arrows. And when you push them, the, the bed of the camera has like this extra, well, not the bed, the box of the camera has extra flap that would let you rise a bit more when you're using very wi uh, wide lenses. So that's pretty cool. And then if you wanna lock it back, you lock it back and it's fixed. And then that's so rise and fall, as you can saw, it works like that. And then for tilt, you have this knob that basically unlocks it and this knob that tightens it. So we let it loose, so this would be tight clockwise and anti-clockwise would be loose and then you press it and it lets you do tilt 
Okay, tilt forward and tilt. That would be zeroing and then tilt backwards. Okay guys, so that's tilt. And then on the front of the camera, you basically have uh, two different arrows, which you probably can't see maybe on camera now you can see. One would let you do swing. Okay, so swing there one way or the other. And the zeroing on swing, at least on this camera, doesn't feel very precise. And then the other one shift. So we unlock and now we can shift it to the right and shift it to the left and zeroing. It does have an arrow for zeroing on the swing. Actually, the shift. Let me put it back up and we lock it. And that is for the front standard. Then when we go to the back standard, there's a couple things you wanna know. Uh, first of all, we wanna know is these uh, knobs on the top and there's some knobs on the bottom will let you move the back standard. And it looks like it doesn't do anything, but if you push these sides out, as you can see, it has this backward like swing. And then if you wanna do the other side and this, now you could tighten and tighten and keep it there for shame flung. Or you could also do the other side. And let me see if you guys can see the other side. Um, the other side, now we push it down and it comes out also. Let me see if I can do this now. So the, the other side is out. Also, you can extend it all the way and gain like a triple extension on this in this case. So you can tighten it all up and it basically becomes like a large format camera with like a like a monorail it has like the front standard the middle and the back standard and then we can put it all back in and these movements are a bit more by hand they're not exactly like you know gear like the front but it works fairly well and then on the back we have the usual you have uh your film holder insert so you basically insert your film holder and you can shoot four by five nine by twelve if you're doing centimeters to pull it out that's it then you have to focus with your loop your little ground glass there with six by seven six by nine and six by twelve markings and also one by one centimeter squares and a nine by twelve uh, frame lines in this case and then it also has some little tables of depth of field and stuff which is pretty nice and also if you want to use the viewing hood you can pop it open it has this le nice leather and as i said it has the depth of field kind of scale here and if you don't want to use that you can always close it. And this here is actually to hold your dark side. So when you're shooting, you can hold your dark side there. Uh, then on the back, we can actually also take off the back and it's a graph lock system. So now we could shoot, you know, medium format film holders. This is a Toyo one, but Linhoff makes their own. And these are the sides that actually grasp onto the back. And now we're shooting six by seven medium format film. We can lift it up, change it. Maybe we'll want to use a five, four, five back like that one. And we can shoot that if we feel like it. This will also fit on the normal back uh, with a spring loaded or the 405 back from Polaroid. Same thing there. We could also lock it, lock it and shoot it there. Okay, guys. So it does all of that. Also, it's rotating. Let me put this back back on. So let me see. There we go. You can open it, as I said, you can fit pretty much every film holder you want. It feels really nicely made. No wiggle, no extra room there. Now it doesn't want to come out. It's pretty fat, there we go. And then if you want to rotate it, you just have to press this button on the side here and you press it and it rotates and locks into place. Now you're doing landscape, now you're doing portrait. Also, you do have a marking here for the film plane, which is good if you're doing macro work or very precise work, works very nicely. And basically that's about all there is to this camera. There's a little carrying strap on the side. Uh, some models do come with a rangefinder. This one doesn't have it. It does have a cold shoe on the top, so you can adjust like a little viewing angle for a very wide lenses or bubble level, which there's none in the whole camera, which is interesting considering uh, you know, the quality, but also bubble levels to me always feel like they're basically drying up or breaking on you. So it's maybe nicer to have your own bubble level that you can put on. Also, the lenses use uh, the Linhoff Technica lens board. And this is probably the first time I used the original camera for the uh, lens boards. But basically, you lift this flap here, take off the lens, 
and they do need to have this little notch on the bottom of the lens board because it does have that little metal guide on the bottom. So you can't use sometimes third party if they don't have that little hole, like maybe Chamonix ones don't have that. So basically that's all there is to this camera. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I do know a lot of people ask about this Linhoff. Uh, this one's, as I said, Linhoff Master Technica 2000, as far as I know, and uh, it's a great camera. And if you have any questions or you wanna ask me about it, wanna see something specific about it, please leave a comment below. Also, if you feel like supporting the channel, there's a Patreon page which you can help me from $3 up and cancel anytime. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like the Linhoff. I actually really liked it. Never had one in this mint condition in my hands. So thank you to my friend that lent it to me. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.